We did a real test on how ChatGPT performs in logical reasoning and intelligence tests such as cognitive aptitude assessments. Let's see how well ChatGPT does on a real cognitive aptitude test by counting how many questions it gets right and how many it gets wrong. First question. If a stock clerk receives six shipments per week, how many shipments does she receive over the course of 16 weeks? The stock clerk receives a total of 96 shipments over the course of 16 weeks. This can be calculated by multiplying the number of shipments per week by the number of weeks. Six shipments per week times 16 weeks equals 96 shipments. ChatGPT's answer is, correct. Second question. A hardware store sells 215 ladders in the month of August. If it sells 40% more ladders in the next month, how many ladders does it sell in September? In September, the hardware store would sell 301 ladders. To find out, you can start by calculating 40% of the number of ladders sold in August. 40% of 215 ladders equals 0.4 times 215 equals 86 ladders. This represents the increase in sales from August to September. To find the total number of ladders sold in September, you can add this increase to the number of ladders sold in August. 215 ladders plus 86 ladders equals 301 ladders. Therefore, the hardware store would sell 301 ladders in September if it sells 40% more ladders than it did in August. ChatGPT's answer is, correct. Third question. A company product development division has 60 employees. Of these one third are engineers. If 40% of the engineers are moved to another division, how many engineers will remain in the product development department? One third times 60 equals 20 engineers. If 40% of the engineers are moved to another division, that means 0.4 times 20 equals 8 engineers are moved to another division. The number of engineers that remain in the product development division is therefore 28 equals 12 engineers. ChatGPT's answer is correct. Fourth question. 27 is 45% of what number? 27 as 45% of 60. To find out, you can set up a proportion. 27 divided by x equals 45 divided by 100. Where x is the unknown number. To solve for x, you can cross multiply and simplify. 27 times 100 equals 45 times x. 2700 equals 45x. Divide both sides by 45. x equals 60. Therefore, 27 is 45% of 60. ChatGPT's answer is, correct. Fifth question. What would be the next groups of letters in the following series? XRFM XQEA XPDO XOCP. The next group of letters in the series would be, XNBL. This is a series where the letters in each group are four letters, and the first letter is, X, in each case. The second letter in each group moves one step backward through the alphabet, R and GT, Q and GT, P and GT, O, while the third letter moves one step forward through the alphabet, F and GT, G and GT, H and GT, I. The fourth letter in each group moves two steps backward through the alphabet, M and GT, N and GT, O and GT, L. Applying the same pattern to the last group of letters in the series, XOCP, we get Asterisk second letter, moves one step backward from P to O Asterisk third letter, moves one step forward from C to D Asterisk fourth letter, moves two steps backward from P to N Putting it all together, we get the next group of letters in the series as XNBL ChatGPT's answer is, wrong. Sixth question. Assume the first two statements are true. 
Is the final statement, one true, two false or three uncertain based on the info provided? All the members of the swim team went to the swim meet. Sally did not go to the swim meet. Sally is not a member of the swim team. The final statement would be, one true based on the information provided. If all the members of the swim team went to the swim meet and Sally did not go to the swim meet, then it follows logically that Sally is not a member of the swim team. In other words, the fact that Sally did not attend the swim meet is inconsistent with her being a member of the swim team, since all members of the swim team went to the meet. Therefore, we can conclude with certainty that Sally is not a member of the swim team. ChatGPT's answer is, correct. Seventh question. Assume the first two statements are true. Is the final statement, one true, two false or three uncertain based on the info provided? Robin works at the same office as Charles. Charles works at a different office than Alex. Alex works at a different office than Robin. The final statement would be, one false based on the information provided. If Robin works at the same office as Charles, and Charles works at a different office than Alex, it does not necessarily follow that Alex works at a different office than Robin. For example, it is possible that Charles works at Office A, Robin works at Office A with Charles, and Alex works at Office B, a different office than Charles. In this case, Charles and Robin work at the same office, and Charles works at a different office than Alex, but Alex and Robin do not necessarily work at different offices they could both work at Office A. ChatGPT's answer is, wrong. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like this video.